refrain. Yo. Guys, it's Corrales. I got my good friend, Shift Master, with me today. Hello, Shift Master. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Shift Master. And man, what are you gonna show us today? Um, I'm going to show us a couple of things. Uh, first thing is going to be a house made by myself, and then I'm going to show a couple of cities that I built with me and a couple of players on the server, and then I'm probably going to end off in my uh, mansion in Admin Town. So we'll go from there. All right, sounds pretty cool, man. And there's some different rules or new rules to the server, actually. Yes. Um, well, first thing is that we've changed the guest system, so. Um, now, instead of coming on the server and building a house in the guest area and having us judge it, what you'll do now is similar to the old system where you will apply for a builder position via an email, which you can get off the uh, corrales.net, and you'll wait three to five days, and an admin will reply to the email saying if you've gotten in or not. All right, so that's actually, I think that will actually work much better. Because I know a lot of people were like very sad that the house got deleted or griefed in the guest area. So hopefully this. Yeah, will... griefing griefing was a very very big issue for us. Um, a lot of people would just get on grief and then leave. And even though we banned them, like it was like every one ban was two more griefers. It was just bad. Just bad, man. Just bad. Why can't people just respect the things that other build that other people build? I don't know. All right, so. People, as well, just read the rules very carefully when you're entering the server because they are important and it will actually make the place much nicer. Yes, and it will also make your gameplay a lot more fun. So. Alright, so where are we going, man? Alright, just follow me. We'll start off with a, uh, a house. If everyone knows, if seen the videos before, I'd like to build in a more traditional Victorian style uh, instead of modern. Not that I have anything against modern. No, it's it's just I, I, right, man. I'm really in love with Victorian <laughs> Yeah, I've seen your neighborhood on the like downtown, and it looks just amazing. Yeah. And Shift Master. Yeah, we'll be able to get a closer look to that sooner. So. Yeah, and tell us about the exterior like landscape because you're just a pro epic landscaper. Yeah, I'm actually a landscape architect in real life. I'm studying. I'm in college now. I'm a sophomore. Um, landscape architecture major um, so yeah so that's good so I actually have a uh, really good knowledge of the landscape how it works how it should look and how to make it look nice it looks amazing man it actually yeah. does it does so much to the place like I mean the house is nothing wrong with the house the house is beautiful but without the exterior here or the landscape it will look quite empty and it just looks beautiful looks so damn real you should see it with the shader mod it looks just beautiful. Yeah. All right. So this house has, I want to say, six bedrooms and three bathrooms. Oh, snap. Yeah. This a house built by myself. What's going in? Um, you start off in this uh, central hallway here. Off to the right over here is a uh, living room with a fireplace. Right. I actually don't. I put glowstone in the fireplaces instead of actual fire. I don't know. I just like to. You're more secure, I guess. Way. Yeah, <laughs> especially for those who are actually building this in survival mode. If you want to try uh, wooden fireplaces, don't use actual fire for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is the dining room. All right. I've actually tried fire, and I burned down Hotel Kielbasa like twice, <laughs> man. See, there's a bathroom in here. Shower, toilet, sink, all that good stuff. Damn, I have to start building bathrooms. I still really can't. Well, I have to just do it because I haven't done it in my houses. So I will start making bathrooms from now on. This Damn. is the colossal kitchen. The colossal Huge kitchen. Two sinks. That's a beautiful house, uh, man. Thank you. Thank you. There's more of this where it All right. came. Come in. I want to see. Right, um, the, right, the this stairs. is sort of a All right. formal living area. Just sitting. You can have a really nice view out to the. Uh, the harbor kind of bay area out there. Yeah, I can see a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. All right, let's go on ahead upstairs. Second floor, there's four bedrooms and a bathroom. Uh, going in here, this is the master bedroom here. There's a balcony off of it. 
Oh, I think I lost you. Where'd well, you go? I don't, I don't oh, no, there, we, there you are. All right. Yeah, the master bedroom's in here. <laughs> All right. So, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. It's actually just beautiful. It looks like a real house, man. It looks like... It doesn't look like a uh, Minecraft house. It looks like more a Sims house. Or Thank something. You. Just amazing. Yeah, there's a balcony out here. Look out to the... The good life. Yeah. There's some orange building being built over there. Yeah, that's uh, the Sandy City downtown area. All right. So, we'll get on, log on, and tour that. It's a pretty nice place over there. Yeah, guys. And by the way, everyone can still join the server and tour, but you can't yeah. build, basically, without having... Yeah, if you haven't applied for Builder yet, um, I definitely suggest doing it. But in the meantime, um, you're still allowed to get on, tour the, tour the server, and uh, see all the epic builds here. Because it's some really nice stuff here. It sure is. And Shiftmaster is an admin on the server as well, by yes, the way. Man. Yes. Uh, uh, this is a third floor living area. There's two more bedrooms up here and a bathroom. Is that a TV area? Yes. Epic. With some surround systems. Or... Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Yes. All right. And that pretty much wraps it up for this house. Wonderful. I really have to start building other houses than <laughs> modern houses. <laughs> because There's nothing wrong with modern houses. Actually, when I first started building anything in Minecraft, I started with uh, modern houses because the like blocky environment that Minecraft is, is just is really nice and easy to build uh, modern houses and make them look really, really nice because, you know, it's just blocks, putting blocks together. Um, I started trying to do Victorian houses. One, uh, I really like Victorian architecture, and I thought it would be a nice challenge to try and get these uh, curves in here and like really trying to get the roof lines together. The roof line was probably the hardest thing for me to learn, but I've pretty much mastered it now. So. Sure did, man. Yeah. Beautiful house. Beautiful house, man. All right. Next warp. Um, All right. Go ahead and type in warp shift village. Shift village. I guess that's your yes. village, man. Yes, it is. All right. Yeah, that's the epic village I've seen before just next to downtown. Yes. And this village is 13 houses that I've built. Um, one man. of them was started by Gattaca AE, which is this uh, white, uh, gray, and yellow house with the nether brick roof right here. Oh, man. Yeah, this one was started by Gattaca. Then he got kind of busy. He had me finish it. So now it looks really nice. It sure does. And every house looks very nice here. I've been actually here a lot on my like own tours of that of the town, of, of the yeah. server, because I really enjoy this neighborhood. Yeah, all these houses are based off of early 1900 styles uh, of architecture, which really interests me. So. No, guys, come on, check it out, because you can get so much ideas. Yeah, so. Uh, go ahead, Corral, let's pick a house you like, and we'll tour that. Uh, damn, that's hard, man. I'm just going to fly up and check it out. Uh, let's pick this one. The seaside front here in the middle. Okay, cool. This house is actually based off of a house that I found on a real estate listing that was listed for, I want to say, $745,000. So it's a $745,000 house that we we're about to look through in real life. Oh, man. That's yeah. cool. And I just changed the time today and got shadow now. All right, so no, that doesn't All matter. Right. All right. All right, so this is the... Uh, Formal living area over here. My uh, classic fireplaces. <laughs> they look cool. They are safe fireplaces, man. Yeah, safe fireplaces. Uh, smaller dining area in here. And then a uh, kitchen. The essentials in it as well. I actually haven't been in this house for a while, so I don't remember how many bedrooms and bathrooms. I want to just say three bedrooms, one bathroom. See how right I am. All I right. Let's see. What's in here? Random snow block. <laughs> uh, Some, somebody's been here. All right, so that's <laughs> the bathroom. Yeah, it looks like I didn't finish it, but I guess I have to work on that. Do um, you have two shower thingies? Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. I All don't know why. That's nah, don't worry, <laughs> man. So, yeah, so yeah, it's three bedrooms. And uh, well, there's no bed in here. But as you can see, it's very big. It you is. got a really, really nice view out to the uh, 
bay area over here looks over to the uh, slash warp build area which is like the main building area on the server is actually full now so yeah I've been there like a day ago and it was just crowded with houses yeah yeah there's a lot of unfinished ones so uh, one of the one of my jobs here as an admin on the server is to go through the build areas um, look at each house and make sure um, if it's one unfinished and check to see when the last time that person was on it feels like a week ago then they're probably not coming back to finish it no well the thing is a lot of people start projects and jump to the next project before finishing yeah. the first one yeah which is I mean, you're not supposed to do that technically but you know yeah no. we're all human <laughs> <laughs> we are oh so get that pool table here with a lovely yep. view yep usually in the attics I uh, make them like entertainment hangout spots so you got a pool table up here so. beautiful yeah it's good this neighborhood is just I don't know I love this neighborhood man yeah this is a neighborhood built by myself I built every single house here except the one that Gattaca started and I finished so yeah pretty much I built every built this entire neighborhood up so oh, the yeah sun. come on the sun come is on here. check it out yeah, guys, and uh, you were telling me that you might start a YouTube channel, man. Is that yeah, I was true? About it. I was thinking about it. Um, of course, me being a landscape architecture student, it's really time consuming. But if I ever do find time, try and figure out how to start filming videos, edit videos the way I want them to, I'll start posting some tutorials on how to build a Victorian style houses and how I do certain things in my landscapes, like making these huge trees, because, you know. Of course, you can't spawn trees like that even with world edit. So that's how how I make those. I can post some tutorials on those and other things like that. I think people would actually enjoy to see that type of things. Yeah. All right. So that pretty much wraps it up for this town. Um, next. Next warp is slash warp suburb. Suburb. Yes. All right, I'm here, man. I'm just inside of you. <laughs> that sounded okay. bad, but yeah. You get my point. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the suburbs. This is actually the latest uh, build area for the World of Corrales that I've actually just finished building today. So that's pretty exciting. Um, here are a lot of larger lots to build a larger houses because in the server, there's a bunch of small lots that people like to combine into one. So I figured... Why not make a build area where there are larger lots so people don't have to combine them? Damn, that's so much to see. Like, I mean, I mean, I could spend like days on the server and just explore new stuff. And people are like, the houses are plopping up like, like mad. It's Dark see, Wizard. Dark Wizard. Yeah, he's actually a, a pretty legitimately good builder on the server. I must congratulate him because he, he builds very, very nicely. It sure does. Well, yeah. some, something is going on with the pool, dude. Oh, yeah. That's I had to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not supposed to be like this. <laughs> uh, I, this used to be actually the uh, former guest build area, and next to it was a uh, town called Alexandria, which I've actually cleared and I'm going to make another downtown area because people can't keep complaining about the downtown area being full. Yeah, it is full. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm working on a couple of new downtown areas. Um, there's actually one that's actually up now uh, called Slash Warp Broad Acres. Uh, most of the lots are pretty empty. Some have buildings on it that are unfinished or still being built. So if you can't find a lot in Slash Warp downtown, then go to Slash Warp Broad Acres. All right, so you heard it, guys. Damn, that's a nice house here as well, built by Yaya. Yes, I was actually helping Yaya with this house earlier today. I helped them with the uh, roof. They're having trouble with the roof, so I helped them out. So. Looks awesome, man. He's got a basketball court or something here as well. Yes. Or no, that's the neighbor. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, let's go ahead and fly off of this way. Yeah, where, there we go. All right, I'm coming after you. Still loading yeah. some. Oh, dude, that's a wonderful like river yeah, thingy. Yeah, this is a uh, a river that I actually made from scratch. Damn, all, cause all this this entire land was flat, so I uh, I made a river here, make for some nice scenery. 
Um, in landscape architecture, we actually make rivers like these to um, remediate rainwater off of people's houses. So instead of using like storm drains and gutters and things like that, we will make um, sort of what's called retention ponds. So water would to uh, drain off of people's houses and drain into here. That's a pretty good idea. Yes. And it looks amazing. I mean, I, I can't really imagine because it's only like blocks and stuff and it looks mm. out of this world. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy what you can do with just blocks. It's just your imagination which sets the limits, I guess. I think I maybe lost you. No, oh, word. I can see a blob blob there. There we go. Oh, there you are. Yeah, so there's actually two of these here. There's this one and then there's one down there. Let's go there. And damn, this neighborhood is taking shape as well. Yes. Um, like I said, I just finished it today. So. Well, I saw. I, I actually saw the, this this like river thingy when I was on it. I thought, damn, this this is Shift Master. Shift Master yeah, must have yeah. been here. Yeah. Must take take ages to make something like this. Um. Let's see. This river took me. I want to say about. Let's see. Actually, shaping the river. Putting in the water, sugarcane, trees, then bone milling it up. I want to say about an hour, hour each. Damn, it looks so at nice. At the most. Yeah, at the most. So people spend so, time on your landscaping because it looks amazing. Yeah, uh, landscaping the uh, yard around your house can actually completely transform the look of it. You'll be surprised. Sure does. Yeah. So yeah, this is the uh, brand new build area slash warp suburb. So when you do become a builder, make sure to come here and build some epic mansions. Cause it's, it's just waiting for people to come and build. Yeah, guys, look at those lots. And do you have like a build uh, rules here? Like, don't make like glowstone buildings. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> of course, you common sense. Try to. Just, just uh, whatever you do, just make something look nice. Um, try not to combine a lot, and uh, just uh, keep it houses. I know a lot of people like to go to the build areas, saying that it's houses and still build skyscrapers. Yeah. So I've just seen that. try to keep the skyscrapers to the downtown areas and keep the houses to the suburban areas. Damn, dude, I really love the landscaping. Looks awesome. Thank you very much for all the help on the server, man. Ah, oh, no problem. You have transformed it to a wonderful place. All right, next warp. Warp. All right, warp. All right, warp Riverside. Riverside. Right, I'm here. Actually, before you, I right. guess. Yeah. So this is a house, or not a house. This is a town that I made myself. Um, it's actually right adjacent to your hospital. Oh. The. Uh, World save. All not, right. not this part, but like the town itself is right off of the, uh, right next to the hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I've seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, what I want to show off here is the, uh, my main house I actually used where I list all the projects that I have lined up for me to do on the server. I'm right behind you. Yeah. So this is it. This is, I want to say, the first Victorian mansion that I've actually built here on the server. Damn, dude. You got some skill, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, actually, it took it took a while to master it. Um, I started small and started just getting larger and larger. Like you saw the uh, house that I made in suburbia. That was probably one of the smaller houses I did. So, oh, yeah. Man, so looks awesome. Go ahead. Awesome. I will actually enter this house. Yeah, let's go ahead and go in here. This house has. I want to say three bedrooms and two bathrooms. All right. It's not as not as big as the other one, but still pretty large. Oh, you have live fire, dude. I, I'm surprised. Yeah, I actually have fire in this one, <laughs> and it's not burning down. That is a miracle. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Well, we have disabled the fire spread, I guess. Yeah. Also, so. Yeah, this is the living room. Um, and here's a nice size dining room with room for. Lots of people sit and eat. Oh, then uh, in here is a first floor bathroom. Whoa. Yeah, you might want to get out the toilet though, but. <laughs> <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I'm 
Damn, 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 damn. And I mean, like, for people like lost for ideas, just join a server and just tour around because it gets. Yeah, even if you're not a builder and can't build, and you're like building a single player, if you're just out of ideas, just don't know what to build, come here. There's tons of inspiration, tons of ideas here that you can use on your own builds. It's a really nice place. We actually forgot to show you, show the upstairs. Oh yeah, you're right. So let's go ahead in here. I'm just looking for the stairs. I thought I saw the stairs near the entrance. All my all my houses. I usually put the stairs right off the front door. So if you're ever in my houses, can't find the stairs, just go to the front door. That's where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. So here, there's a master bedroom, and on Damn. the TV is actually. Dude, what's that? Uh, my project list. So these are the projects that I have ongoing. Oh, it's cool. It's a cool idea. And the bed is huge, dude. You have a huge bed. Yeah, huge bed. Room for many, many people for all types of parties. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing, I'm using the shader mod with, with the leaves moving around. It looks a bit strange indoors, to be honest, but... Yeah, I guess it's one of the, one of the downsides to the shaders mod, despite all the good it does. Yeah, it actually transforms. The oh, we have a bath in this one. Yeah, I was actually able to have a large bathroom in here, so I was able to put a bathtub as well as a shower oh, and double sinks. Luxurious house. All right, and then go up to the third floor. All right, I I'm I'm on my oh. way. All right, I found oh, there it. There you are. Yeah. You can't up miss to my the third eyes. floor. Oh, that's a huge area, and I wouldn't expect this huge area here to to be here, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of people have actually said, um, with their experience with Minecraft houses, the outside usually looks bigger than the inside does. The inside is cramped, and the outside is really nice looking and big looking. Um, it's actually I've had the opposite effect. Yeah, it people sure said is. my houses looked uh, look a lot bigger on the inside than they do on the outside. Yeah, this. I wouldn't expect this from the outside. Yeah, I, I really try to pimp out my uh, my attics. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely the pimp, man. Yeah, so this is a slash riverside. Um, there's a couple of free lots here, not many, because I built it a while ago. People have come in and built some nice stuff here. Um, whenever you get a chance, come here, look at the uh, really nice things here, some nice stuff. I can't really imagine how much stuff you've been building here. It's just sick. I've pretty much been building non-stop ever since I've joined the server. So. And I can really see your features everywhere. Yeah. I have to say, some of my uh, water features I've actually taken off of, uh, or were inspired by uh, yours. Sometimes I was like, hmm, I don't really know what I should do here. And I actually go to your build area and see what you've done. Well, so. com comparing to you, I'm a total noob on that, man. <laughs> I mean, all it takes is a little creativity. You can make some really nice things. Yeah, it sure can. It's just a matter of placing some blocks down and some bushes and some just adding details, and the end result is just amazing. Yeah. All right. Um, next warp. Next warp. Slash warp. Do, uh... Slash warp Sandy City. Sandy City. Yes, this is a city that was started by a, a former admin on here, Lucky Shooter. And then I took it over. Uh, completely redid it. So now it's got my uh, nice landscape touch on it, my urban planning touch. Damn, man, dude, you've been everywhere. Yeah. Um,. So here I've uh, made two residential areas and a another downtown area. Um, the warp there is Sandy City Urban, and um, I think over there is kind of full. There's still a couple lots, so you can go there and find a empty lot, build a nice skyscraper. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna check out this place because this looks very a happy place. What's this? Oh wow, what is this? Let's see, Corey hey. Taylor and. H, I, Zon, two thousand. I guess maybe some. I don't know. I don't know. It looks kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very crazy, man. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
very a lot of uniqueness to it. So sure is. Oh, I can see the urban area over here. So we'll yeah. just fly there. Fly over oh, here. I'm just gonna see, check out these tree houses because I need idea for my own. <laughs> yeah, your tree house looks really really nice. These are these are like. <laughs> no man, my, bad, tree, but... <laughs> my tree house is completely, I don't know, I'm not really used to building other stuff than like modern houses, so it's really hard sometimes, but well, I guess the more you practice, the better you get. Oh, definitely, definitely. Practice right, so makes perfect. I just fell down, alright. Okay, so is it like a playground or something? Yeah, seems like a playground. Yeah, playground, pretty cool. Cool, oh damn, snap, a lot of buildings. Oh, yeah. we gotta see the bus here. Oh yeah, and uh, actually, this is a new thing on the server. People started making cars in the streets. But actually, it looks cool because you could. I well, I was just skeptical building cars in Minecraft, but actually, they they succeed to make really awesome stuff. Sandy City area bus six oh five, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so what was a hospital here? Yeah, hospital, pretty nice. And I mean, do you have do you have the time to check out all these buildings in your areas? I mean, it's like they are, I think they are plopping up. Yeah, there's tons of buildings here. I mean, it'll it'll take hours to go yeah. around and look at all the detail people put in their their uh, buildings. It's really nice. It's awesome, and I mean, some nice landscaping here as well. Again, dude. Like it actually yeah, looks amazing. Really, really nice. Damn. Damn. I can't seem to find you. Where did you go? I'm in the in the water here. There we go. Can you see me? Behind you. To your yeah. right. No. Turn back. Oh, there you are. Damn. Yeah, I see you. All right. Oh, yeah. I actually uh, did this swamp area here. With leaks. I mean, I'm just lost for words how big the server is and how much much people have put in the server and how much work it's put in here. Yeah. Looks just amazing. Really nice. Sure is, man. What's this greenish building here? What's this? Bookstore. Barnes & Noble's bookstore. Nice. <laughs> Romance. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, great yeah. ideas. I mean, I wish I had more time to do, like, builds, city builds and stuff, but I don't know, you know, I have, have family work, it just takes up so much time, so I don't know. Okay. Alright. Alright, final, final place. Final warp, I'm just gonna, I love the road systems everywhere here. Oh yeah, the uh, infrastructure, I do a lot of the infrastructure work here on the server as well. Yeah, it looks when, uh, very nice and tidy. Planning. So, warp. Okay, go to uh, slash warp admin town. Warp admin town. Um, admin town is a town specifically made just for admin builds, uh, mod builds, and anyone else who is invited to build here. Um, I've actually built a uh, Victorian mansion here. You uh, did a close up on it actually when you did uh, the tour of Gattaca's uh, mansion. I love it, man. Yeah, so here we are here. This house, I actually forgot how many bedrooms and bathrooms are in here, so that would be a discovery for us. Yep. Oh my god, the outside area, I'm still just blown away about all the details. And I mean, it's blocks, god damn it, it's blocks. <laughs> you sometimes forget, right? Yeah, it sure it looks like, you know, it's just, just real. All right, so where are you? I'm at the entrance, I guess. Right, right behind you. Okay. All right, so here we go. So this is the uh, foyer area and stairs. Um, right here is a uh, parlor. So what they call the uh, living area that was off the living area, or like the uh, main, well, not really main, but like formal living area. It was called the parlor All right. or library, depending on the designer back in 1910. <laughs> um, this is the uh, main living area here. The uh, safe fireplace. Yeah, the safe fireplaces are back. Yeah. But that's good, otherwise yeah. your house would be burned down, man. Yeah. <laughs> then the uh, this is the dining room. 
nice dining room that actually opens up into a uh, very large kitchen. Amazing. Just going to change the time today. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. And then uh, out here, I have a, a deck that uh, walks down into a, a patio and pool. Okay. Here. Got some pigs in the back garden. But yeah. Wonderful. So actually, there's a uh, sort of a koi pond up here that kind of drains into the pool, and I thought that would be a really nice feature to have. You're just epic with the landscaping, man. Thank you. You should just start a channel and then just do a bunch of landscaping stuff because I know a lot of people would subscribe and watch that. Yeah, I definitely want to start maybe doing some uh, tutorials on like having a bare house and how to really make it look really nice. Even if you're like into copying and pasting houses and you're just like, man, this house just definitely looks totally pasted. So many hard lines on the landscape. How do I make this blend well? And I've actually done a lot of work with making uh, pasted buildings blend really well with the landscape. So I can probably show people how to do that if I start my own channel. Yeah, man, just tell me when you decide to do that and I will keep the subscribers on my channel updated. Yeah, I might actually do that. Let's see, how many bedrooms are here? Is that one, two? I don't know, I lost track. There's a lot of bedrooms. I think there's, I want to say there's six bedrooms and three bathrooms here as well. Might be seven, I'm not sure. So, yeah, this is actually the master bedroom here. Oh, it looks. I mean, you sh you should watch the video later on because the shader mod makes it just incredible. There's a lot of bath bathrooms here, dude. Yep, this bedroom has an attached bathroom. There's actually exposed brick here, which was um, actually a new thing with the Victorian houses that are being renovated today. A lot of people like to expose the brick in the house, so I did that here. That's a cool idea. I was actually thinking like maybe taking a church or a castle and redoing it to modern style. And that would be maybe the same what but using cobblestone or something. Yeah. So here's my uh, entertainment room in the attic, like I always like to do. I mean, this house seems so... Well, it doesn't seem small from the outside, but it seems a lot smaller than it, it is from there. Like, I mean, this is just huge, dude. Yeah. Actually, I didn't do the furnishing for up here. I can't remember who did, and that's actually a shame. I do apologize for whoever did help me with the attic for this house. I cannot remember their name. Well, someone, someone nice at least. Yes, they are very nice. I do apologize for forgetting your name, but I will remember and comment on the video on YouTube as soon as I figure out who did it. Yep, yeah, please do. Oh, damn, dude. I really love the Victorian-style houses. Yes. this Yeah, this house does seven bedrooms and three bathrooms. That's a big family house. Yes. Oh, man. Wonderful. All right. And this is the actually the uh, last stop on my tour. Well, man, it's been great time because I just love the architecture. I'm just going to take a spin from the outside because this looks just... I mean, it doesn't look small from the outside, but it definitely look, doesn't look that big as it is on the inside. You have, well, they definitely squeezed in a lot of rooms there, and they seem just big. Now, she must yeah. thank you uh, very much, man. No problem. You've done some fantastic uh, work, and please keep me updated if you start a channel, because, you know... Oh yeah, definitely. I have to give some shout outs for you because I know a lot of people would be interested in your skills. Yeah, definitely. Um, and for everyone else, go ahead and read up at Corrales.net for how to apply to become a builder. Yeah, please uh, do send us now. an email. Please apply. Um, get promoted. Build awesome stuff with us here on the server. Yeah, or just join for inspiration, guys. Yeah, even just join and just look around and just look at all the awesome stuff here. Oh, damn. This is going to be a long video, man. <laughs> <laughs> but It's definitely worth the watch. Yeah, sure. it is. Sure is. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Is there anything more you want to add, Shipmaster? Um, 
nothing other than anybody else who is on the server and likes to play here, please do read the rules. They are important. Um, keeps you yourself from getting in trouble and keeps everyone else from having a bad time here. Yeah, guys. Reading the rules adds fun to the server for everyone. Read please the do rules. read the rules. Yeah, I think they will now. <laughs> Hopefully they will. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one, which will actually be, well, it's gonna be one more server tour video with another person from the server. So hope you will enjoy that as well. And I will speak to you soon. Take care and bye.